and God sees that. So he, so they, people say, I want a man of God, a woman of God, but you have to understand it's not one-sided. God's not going to just send you a man of God to abuse and mistreat and all, you know. It, it, I don't know why I'm talking about this. It takes a strong man to handle me. Why does a man have to handle you? You're not a zoo animal. The Bible says that a wife is supposed to be a helpmate, not a hellmate. The, the, the definition of a man is not, oh, how much of a beating can he take? And let me play these games with him and see if he's going to stick around. And, and let me leave in the middle of the night and see if he's going to chase me. That's not, No, the Bible, that's not what the Bible says it is. That's manipulation. That's witchcraft. Yeah. And we do that. Why? Soul ties. People who have Amen. hurt us, people who have done us wrong. I'm, I'm going to be so real with you. I've seen people get married and still in love with the old boyfriend, still in love with the old girlfriend. And they might make it for a couple of years because they never broke the soul tie. That's, you know, they're getting intimate and stuff like that, still thinking about the last one. Yep. You got to break that spiritual connection. And, 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 and because we're ignorant to these things, we're wondering, well, Lord, I've been waiting a long time. Have you broken it? This is how you're gonna know if you broke, if you have broken it. Are you, are you stalking their faith? Let me check my ex. Let me see. Let me see what she's doing. Let me, you know, thinking about them and the other stuff that you do in the privacy of your home that I'm not even gonna mention because the kids are here. The things you entertain in your mind, the wicked imaginations. Those are signs that those soul ties are not broken. So sometimes it's not that we're even waiting on the Lord. It's because. It, it, mm, it's because we don't spend enough time in his presence yeah. for those things to come to the surface. Yeah. What we do is these little drive-by prayers with God. You know, uh, uh, the only time some of us pray is when we, we go to McDonald's, which we shot like I did last night, and we shouldn't really be eating that, but, you know, Lord, please bless this food. I don't know what they got. You know, please eat. And that's it. Or, or, Lord, please bless me with this and take care of this. And, Lord, my boss is acting up. But when is the last time you just got in his presence and you sat there? And close your mouth and let him speak. He said, okay, you, you've told me your request, but now let me point some things out in you that you need to transform, that you need to change, that you need to put on the cross. And because we don't do that, we just walk around and just, man, what is going on? So I don't know why the Lord, he wanted me to say that. I, I almost forgot and I had wrote it down here. Some of you need to start praying to get soul ties. Yeah. They're gone, right, physically, but they're still there spiritually. Jesus. So God can't, remember, two flesh become one. Not only do you become one with them, this is what's so crazy about the world and how the way the enemy has perverted it. If that man slept with five, six women before you, and those women slept with three or four people before them, yep. this is how spirits jump around. Remember what I was telling you guys about when people say, oh, I was born gay and stuff like that? I said, you know what? You might have you might have been born with a spirit because the people that your mom and daddy used to sleep around, they slept with people who were on the down low, they slept with people who were by, they slept with people who were watching all. Spiritual warfare is real, and then that stuff is jumping off the children, and you got generational curses and people who are getting divorced. I saw that in my own life. I started getting a little bit older, past. I was like, man, me and my dad have a lot in common, but I haven't seen him since I was seven years old. Generational curses, spiritual warfare. But if you don't, if you're just gonna have that casual relationship with God, casual Christians will be casualties. If you're not going to really get in his presence and take advantage of the holies of holies, he can't transform, he can't work on you. That's right. Amen? Amen. If you can't say amen, say ouch. Don't be discouraged. It all works for your good. 